neglected. Right. And they may be playing on that field, but it, they could have been, you know, last year they were playing on some other field. Right. In the right. Spring. right. right. So right. it hasn't that generated additional revenue. Right. That That's what I was trying to uh, uh, distinguish. So the, the $8,000 is right. strictly yeah. for revenue that you've gotten for the field, or is that just user fees that you've gotten altogether? No. What, the $8,000 I'm talking on there? Yeah. That would be yeah. rental fees, not user fees. Rental fees for right. the field only. User okay. fees are listed under my revenues, right. under where it says league revenues. Right. That generally is a user fee for the uh, leagues pay user fees. And uh, parks and fields revenues, those are rental fees. Could be, yes. and, 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 and rental fees for the turf field. Right, so yeah. the turf field does um, have a line item for eight. I, I, I hope to exceed that. Twofold. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we are bidding on jobs. The one we weren't successful on, they found some fields that were cheaper, a little bit closer to where they wanted. Now we have another person coming in wanting two nights a week, which, you know, with lights and the whole bit, should be a pretty good rental right there. Okay. I see uh, an issue associated with switching to an enterprise fund. Because right now, your revolving fund is not part of any budget, it's not approved by town meeting, and as soon as you switch to an enterprise fund, you'll be operating off of a, a budget and estimated revenue plan, etc. So there's a difference there in terms right. of flexibility. And this transition is going to take place soon, right? We have to vote it at town meeting. Yes, we vote right. it at town meeting. So I think there yeah. should be a budget in here. There is a budget. Yeah. Well, I mean a budget that town meeting approves. And this well, could this be submitted as I the this was it. Yeah, yeah, this is the budget that this I would submit. And this would no, because it usually gets account numbers and everything. And you want oh, to put oh. it in the format that the other budget. Yeah, yeah. I would think you'd yeah. want to do we that. Can, we can yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We can roll that up easily. <coughs> It'll look like the Hillview and the Water Enterprise. Yeah. Right. I understand what you're saying. Right. And therefore like the Hillview, they put a revenue plan together and then they have to watch their expenses over the course of the year or they it's right. They overspend their budget. And if they do that then uh, they'd have to come back to town meeting or Right. Never done it in the ten years I've been here. It's <laughs> never gonna happen. No, but in the ten years that you've been here with a revolving fund, right, right you had the flexibility of if you got additional revenue if you'd have spent it. Right now, now in the enterprise fund, if you get additional revenue, you're not going to spend it this year without going back to town right. meeting for an appropriation. Right. There's a difference. Yeah, you, you, would have, you would estimate a little higher knowing what you've been taking in. You're going to estimate more than the limit that, we, that, uh, that the um, revolving fund limits you to. Right. So well, I certainly could. So if you, if you were to estimate 400000 in revenue, and we see we're not going to bring in 400. We're going to start spending at 350,000 right. or whatever. So we can cover it that way. Well, what I'm saying is that right. the process is different. It's, it's very, yeah, very different. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So the challenge we run up against is the statutory limit on the revolving fund cap. That's the only thing that's really driving this issue. Right. right. No, I understand that. That's, so it it that's only be, and again, the, the, so that limits what you can spend in that fiscal year. Yeah, expend. Yeah, I can bring in as much as I want, but I can't spend. So if we brought in five hundred thousand to fix something, I couldn't spend the three hundred and fifty or four hundred thousand to fix it. I couldn't do it because it, ex it exceeds it. And a lot of it was when we moved the the recreation director and the parks employee over into the revolving fund. That was a hundred thousand dollar hit. So that kind of hit us, and that brings us up into that realm of. And we're also a very big department with a small town levy. You know, it's one percent, and our our department's big for a smaller town of population. So, so it does limit it. Any other questions from the room? Well, we think the recreation department's doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. So I can talk to Joe about putting it into the format sure. and yeah, okay. working it through. Yeah, and I, th I think more important is that you know you look at. The whole process Make sure of the managing the budget a little differently. Right, making sure the budget is within the realm of. Yes, there's certain things that uh, to look at, but you're right. It is different, and we are kind of forced into it. I mean, kind of forced into it very, very quickly. So 
Kelsey done so much really good. Thank you. Thank you. Next is our uh, youth services. Right. Youth is only is it's in with the TA budget. In the back of cap ten. Back of cap ten. say just before you start don't be nervous and okay. from my perspective the transition from Jenny to you has been seamless thank you it's greatly appreciate it thank so you very much we, we don't no, bite no, no, no. <laughs> I like when she's nervous <laughs> stay nervous oh goodness <laughs> so should I do I just begin yes. okay good evening everyone thank you for having me tonight for those of you who do not know me, I am Erica Hansen. I am the new Youth Services Director. And um, so very grateful to work in a town that has been entirely welcoming. Um, every department, parents, kids, everyone. It's been, so it's been a really great experience so far. As noted in my fiscal year 2012 budget proposal, it is only the salary of one full-time director that is funded by the town. All other programs are self-sufficient and do not run at a loss. Um, and when any additional money is needed, it is sponsored by local businesses or donations. Since November 2010, actually I have a very small handout. I'm not sure that I have enough for everyone. Uh-oh, where's your chair? I Since November 2010, when I began, program participation has increased significantly. Um, one of our goals this year was to increase um, our participation and rebuild our middle school base. So I began working with 33 students total um, when I began in all of the programs. And I am currently working with 121 students. Um, that's 60 middle school students, 53 high school students, and 8 elementary school students. Um, all these students are counted through our middle school and high school youth group, mentoring, youth spreading information, vacation recreations, pay your respect and shovel a vet, teen game nights, workshops, and community service opportunities. Uh, my first middle school youth group, I had one member, uh, and now we're up to 18, and that meets on a regular basis, uh, weekly. So, and we're currently working on a mini film series um, at NORCAM, and we have an editing workshop tomorrow and uh, the school is thinking about putting our videos up during their lunchtime so they can see all of the work that they've done. Um, our Pay Your Respect and Shovel Yvette program brought parents and students together to help their disabled neighbors during this difficult winter season. There were 25 student volunteers that stepped up to the plate and five parents who consistently helped out and I don't think that I could have honestly served those seven homes alone. Um, it would have been impossible to be in so many places at one time so those five parent volunteers were very helpful. Um, so yeah, there was a total of seven homes that we helped out throughout the year. And uh, we did that, we did those seven homes more than once. So, Youth Services works with many different departments within the town. After meeting with the Chief of Police in the Middlesex District Attorney's Office, it was established that Youth Services would play a role in the Juvenile Diversion Program and act as a point person for the youth to meet on a regular basis and to help the student find uh, community service opportunities so that they can finish their requirements. Um, I've been active with the schools, attending parent advisory council to the superintendent meetings, pause meetings, um, been meeting with school principals very regularly and school psychologists, and attending uh, parent meetings as well. We have co-sponsored events with the library, including our mentoring program, our high school students mentor elementary school students, and our teen, team game nights. So the biggest event that we have for revenue is our Battle of the Bands event. And uh, we had about 150 people come to our event on March 19th, uh, which was uh, pretty successful. We had six bands, one of which was from the middle school, which was our first middle school band ever. And um, let's see, some of the, the resources that we offer to youth and families, topics that I, have, that I have dealt with since I began this job were job search, community service opportunities, socialization issues, suicidal issues, health insurance assistance, um, like mass health applications, 
parental guidance, sexual health issues, and bullying. Um, that's, there's many more, but those were the most important. Uh, some of our future programs include Youth Service Day, which will be coming up. We're currently planning the date, most likely the first Saturday in May. An urban art workshop, a Madden game night with police and fire, led by a committee of students. Job shadow workshop, and one of our ongoing projects will be um, a fashion show, which we hope to have um, next spring, 2012. And that will hopefully be another point for us to bring in some revenue. Um, youth service is a vital department to the town of North Reading. It serves as a conduit to many departments in the town and provides invalu invaluable resources to parents and children of, children of the community. We strongly believe that through student-driven social and experiential activities, the children of this community will build self-confidence and become active members of the community. That's all I have. That's quite a bit. <laughs> Sorry. I want to know how you got all of that done. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it quick. <laughs> Yes. Mr. O'Leary is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I second the motion. <laughs> I do have experience. Where's Mary? Uh, what you're looking for? You're hired. Suit will do for you. All right, good. <laughs> um, and Questions I, for. Uh, I just want to say I have also been in touch with the police, um, and they've been working with you quite a bit since mm -hmm. you've been here, and I, I want to thank them for welcoming you. And working together as a team and I, I really think that there's been a lot of a great progress in building synergies between the two departments and I know Definitely. Park and Rec continue to provide you support and I think that's wonderful. Always and I forgot to thank them. you can't do it without the help of the other departments in the community so. Definitely uh, not. I think it is at least worthy of a note that uh, all those departments have really stepped up and I think that's one of the reasons you can see why the success rate is better. I'm not saying it wasn't like that when Jenny was here. Mm -hmm. But I think um, when you came in, it was a, just a refresh for everyone, and we really, it was great momentum, and so I congratulate you on that. Thank you. Excellent job. Is there, a, is there a goal for student participation going forward? Uh, I, I don't know that I had a set goal. It was just to keep growing. Um, the middle school, I think, will continue to grow a bit more. Um, I don't know at the, I don't think it will grow at the, exactly the rate that it's been going. I think that was at that initial. Right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, ideally, I would like to have at least 25 in, the, in our youth group. I think that's a good number um, to help plan all these activities that we've been doing. And I think, I mean, for right now, I don't, I don't want to stop there, but 25 is my immediate goal for our middle school youth group alone. And for social uh, recreations, I could get those numbers way up. I mean, in terms of if I had a, um, a, a parent chaperone, they could help me drive one of the vans because I drive a 12-seater. Mm -hmm. But if I had another parent to drive a 12-seater, we could have 24. So I know it sounds really silly. I'm driving a 12-seater around. <laughs> and I also think uh, you have to give a lot of credit to the Youth Services Committee you have, too. Definitely. They are extremely active, committed, financially committed. Um, so my hat goes off to you, too. Uh, they definitely have con contributed to the success. I mean, you look at this budget, and it's <coughs> extremely minimal when you look at the overall what you can accomplish so it's a lot of part of that is the committee so I uh, thank you for your commitment yes absolutely primarily where are you working out of I'm sorry where are you working out of primarily or is this just um, a during the day I'm working out of the office over here in room 10 yeah. um, but then I'm using the schools and the Parks and Recreation has offered for me to use their um, their building for our high school um, youth group and the one down at Wheeler uh, IFP Yep. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, yeah, it's those three locations that we work out of. Any other questions? Uh, no question, just a, just a comment. This, what you've displayed this evening just confirms my belief that your Department of Lawn is such a valuable department in this community and it is needed probably for a much longer time period than what we've had it for. So I appreciate it. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Code enforcement, I see he's here, so we're actually ahead of schedule at the moment. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. That's a tough act.
haven't got anyone to sing a dance yet, so you know, you can I'm, I'm thrilled not to be at town meeting on the national team.